Tom de Moulin is out on the course. Ala Philippe is the leader of this time trial, 34 minutes and 37 seconds. But just to bring you up to speed with the news, that is the bad news from the course of this Dauphiné time trial. And that is that Chris Froome has had a bad crash in training uh, when he was doing the recce of today's course. He crashed at around about 1.30 in the afternoon. And it's now three o'clock or just after three o'clock in the afternoon. Froome uh, was riding fast downhill with one hand on the bars uh, just for a moment. He hit a crosswind and the crosswind took him and he hit the wall at the side of the road. Unfortunately, then Chris Froome uh, was then tended to by the ambulance crew. He's been in the ambulance at the side of the road for the last hour and a half. We understand that the injuries are to do with fracture uh, or fractures uh, to one of his legs, uh, but we don't know any more detail than that. There's lots of conflicting stories you will see on uh, Twitter and everywhere else right now. Uh, but all I can tell you is that Dave Brailsford has been interviewed by French television about four minutes ago. And Dave Brailsford said that it was a fast crash and a bad crash. And unfortunately, he will not take to the start of the Tour de France. Chris Froome is out of the Tour after that crash in training. Well, this time trial will take on slightly different significance now uh, because Unfortunately, with Froome no longer riding the Tour de France and not competing in this time trial, we now have a situation of some of the other favourites of the Tour de France and see what they can produce as a time trial today because it was pretty much expected, judging by the way Froome rode the other day, that Froome would win this time trial or would go into the yellow jersey. And the former world champion of the time trial is heading now towards the conclusion of this time trial. The time to beat is 34 minutes, 37 seconds of Julian Alaphilippe. De Moulin now picking this up a little bit as he makes his way in towards the finish line. Is he going to go top of the leaderboard? De Moulin for Team Sunweb. This is looking good as he hits the line now. 12 seconds faster. De Moulin goes to the top of the leaderboard. Stephen Kreiswijk about to get underway for the Jumbo Visma team coming out of this tunnel. TJ Van Garderen about to get underway, 55 seconds down in the general classification. 143 riders will take to the race start today. Wow, Van Aert, what a time trial. 18 minutes and 38 seconds faster than the fastest time of Tom de Moulin. What a ride by the rider in the green jersey. The world champion uh, three times of cyclocross. Wow, Van Aert with a tremendous uh, intermediate time split. Faster than Tom de Moulin by 18 seconds. The start then of Adam Yates. Adam Yates about to get underway. What sort of time trial can he produce? He's got some work to do. Only 24 seconds down. Stephen Kreiswijk is in the ballpark. Eight seconds down on the time of Wout van Aert, his teammate. This is a great time trial by Kreiswijk. And he arrives uh, Third overall, 18 seconds down. The start of the Frenchman, Thibaut Pino. Pino sixth overall now, 24 seconds down on the general classification. Van Garderen's going to be in the ballpark as well. He's only 11 seconds down. He beats Richie Port. Fuglesang, great season by Jakob Fuglesang this season so far. Let's see what he can produce. Line fourth overall. Jakob Fuglsang, winner of Liège, Baston Liège, winner of the Dauphiné in 2017, of course. The arrival then of Wout van Aert. This is some time trial by this rider. 
Van Aert then coming up towards the line. This is going to be a very, very good time trial by the rider in the green jersey, riding for Jumbo Visma. Well, Van Aert coming up to the line now, and he's going to beat Tom de Moulin by 40 odd seconds, 46.9 seconds faster for Wout Van Aert. What a time trial. The final rider to start, resplendent in the yellow and blue jersey, Dylan Toombs riding for the Bahrain Merida team. Let's see if he can now produce the time trial he was talking about yesterday. Toombs is underway. Toons going full out with the all yellow skin suit and the arrival now of Stephen Kreiswijk. Can he produce uh, the, one of the fastest times? This is a really good time trial by Kreiswijk. Compared to Wout Van Aert, his teammate, he's going to come up to the line with the third fastest time, 48.20 for Kreiswijk. Adam Yates, pretty close to the time of Wout Van Aert, the rider from Mitchelton Scott. This is a really good time trial by Adam Yates. Over the top, 8.39 seconds down. Yates then with the similar time to Stephen Kreiswijk. This is the rider who's been looking good though, TJ Van Garderen. The way he's eating up the road. Looks rock solid on that bike. TJ Van Garderen. He's not going to beat the time of Wout van Aert, but this is going to be a very, very good time trial by the American rider. Van Garderen looking strong as he makes his way now towards the conclusion of this 26.1-kilometre uh, time trial. What's the time going to be? Van Garderen is going to hit the line now, 30 seconds down on the time of uh, Wout van Aert. That's the best of the other riders so far, really. Pino goes over the intermediate time split, 34 seconds down. Needs to go a little bit quicker, Thibaut Pino. Fugel sang. He's going to be somewhere about. This is going to be a good performance by Fugel sang. And he uses mountain biking descending ability to go fast down the descent. Adam Yates, though, is looking to see what time he can produce. And judging by this, it's going to be a very good time trial by Adam Yates. Making his way up towards the conclusion of this time trial, he's almost caught Philip Gilbert in front of him. Wout van Aert's taken a lot of time out of everybody on the descent, but Adam Yates is going to conclude this time trial with a time now which is going to be sixth fastest, 56 seconds down. On the climb for Dylan Toons. This is the leader of this race. We've talked about his time trialing. He tends to lose a fair chunk of time to the top riders, but let's see whether he can produce a good time trial this afternoon. Dylan Toons over the top. Thibaut Pino then coming up to the line. What is the time going to be for him? He's 1.20 down at the finish. He loses 30 seconds to Emmanuel Buchmann and he loses 33 seconds to Tom de Moulin. Fergal Sang looking good as he makes his way in towards the conclusion of the time trial, but still got a fair distance to go. Making his way up towards the conclusion of the time trial then. And Fugel Sang is going to stop the clock and he's going to be one minute and six down on Wout van Aert who remains in the hot seat. Looking increasingly likely that Wout van Aert has won this stage. So who's going to take the yellow and blue jersey? Toons is picking this up all the time. Dylan Toons making his way into the finish. 34.58 I make it to hold on to the jersey. Dylan Toons picking up the tempo all the way in towards the finish line. Guillaume Martin just in front of him. He's going to almost take him for two minutes. It's going to be very, very close. Dylan Toons, can he hold on to the jersey? Look at this. Where's the clock for Dylan Toons? He's just outside. He's literally going to lose the jersey by four seconds on the line. Dylan Toons. What a fight by the rider from Bahrain Merida. 
Yates versus Toons for the yellow and blue jersey. And by my reckoning, Adam Yates will be the yellow and blue jersey of this race. Wout van Aert wins his first race as a World Tour Pro rider with this individual time trial. And I'm not sure anyone expected this at the beginning of today. Wout van Aert wins the time trial, 31 seconds ahead of TJ van Garderen, 47 seconds ahead of de Moulin. Jumbo Visma with a great day with Kreiswijk in fourth place, two riders in the top four. Adam Yates in sixth place will be the leader of the Dauphiné. Wout van Aert takes his first World Tour victory. So far in this race, he's been there on all the stages apart from one. And Van Aert, nothing he can't do, is there? Cyclocross, time trialling, sprinting, ride the classics. 24 years of age, and this rider is already winning big. This is the classification at the end of stage number four. Adam Yates moves into the yellow and blue jersey. Dylan Toon second at four seconds. And things are looking interesting, aren't they? Van Garderen up there, Fuglsang, Kreiswijk, Pino, Buchmann. Van Aert moves himself all the way back into the top 10. And Quintana is there at 40 seconds. This race now is poised for an interesting last few days. Adam Yates, the leader of the race after the individual time trial.